video series of Camel Query tutorial. Today I would like to go through the topic of controlling the Camel Query output. So we would like to see how we can limit the number of the rows that the query returns, limiting the fields that the query returns, and eventually we want to sort the result. In this video I'm using the SharePoint Server object model. So if we are back to our SPQuery object. In this video, first I start by updating the camel web part that I developed in the previous videos. If you haven't watched it, I will put the link in the uh, video description. So we want to update that web part so that it shows all the rows and the columns that the camel query returns. Then we want to write a camel query to sort the output. So we want to limit the query in the rows that it returns. And eventually we want to define a view with limited number of fields as a result of the camel query. For this video, I'm using SharePoint 2013 on virtual machine in Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise Edition. And on the SharePoint site, I have already created a list called products with a couple of rows and columns. So this is the actual list. Let's start by updating the camel web part that I developed some time back. I go back to my Visual Studio. If you can remember from the previous videos, I have a button called Execute and I have a text box. So I can type in my camel query here. When I click on Execute, it shows me a list of the titles of the list. So now I want to change it a little bit. The first thing that I did, if you remember, I used to have a label here. I took out the label control and I also removed all the code that puts the titles in the label. Now let's continue by writing the code in a way that it shows everything that the camel query returns. To show that here, I would like to add a data grid view here. And let me make it a little bit better looking. And that's it. And I call it GV result. Double click on execute. I get the reference to the current web, reference to the products list, creating an instance of my SP query, assigning the text from the text box, and actually querying it. The SP list item collection object that I create here query result can actually give me a data table of the query result. So if this is the case, I can simply assign it to GV result dot data source. I just need to refresh the result. That's pretty much it. Let's deploy it and see the result. Just making sure that the web part works properly. So I go back here, click on the page to refresh, click on execute. So basically it returns all the rows and columns from the table. Now let's write a camel query to sort the output. If you see this query, it actually returns everything in the actual order in the list. And now we want to sort it, for example, by title. Now we want to write a camel query to sort the output. To sort the output, the query looks like this. We put an order by element and we put the list of the fields by field reference. So if I want to sort it by title, I just put the field reference name equals title. And I also define whether I want it to be ascending or descending. And if I have a where condition to filter it, the final query will look like this. So order by and after that the where condition. Let's put it into action. As always, I get back to Visual Studio. I want to create a new file, XML, and I want to use the Visual Studio XML Designer to make my life easier. Order by and field ref name equals title ascending equals true. Let's copy this guy, paste it here. You see everything is ordered by title. 
and if I want to put a filter condition I would say where begins with field ref name equals title value type equals text starting with a I can get the entire thing copied here let's start it with D and execute so it shows me these two items and it actually orders it by title and if I want to make it descending if I execute it's just going to change the order of the rows now use the item limits for the query it actually lies down in the code so basically I would say when I create the SP query there's a parameter called row limit that I can specify and it will only return the number of the rows that I specify if you want to compare it with SQL code it works pretty much like a uh, top end let's see how it works I get back to my code and for the row limit my query dot row limit equals four for example and I deploy it let me click on execute and it only returns four rows so our key property is row limit now let's define the view with limited number of fields to do this again I get back to the code and the SP query object has a parameter called view fields and all I need to do I need to specify the fields that I really wanted to return first I go back to the Visual Studio and define the rows that it's supposed to return so my query dot view fields equals and I specify the fields field ref name equals title and for example field ref name equals category and maybe another field called Now let's deploy and see how it works so I just click on execute without any parameters so you see I have the title category color and in addition of these fields by default a camel query returns ID created and modified most of the time you need the ID to process it as a data set but if you really don't want to see those extra fields I can say my query dot view fields only and set it to true once you do this if I just click on deploy and I click on execute again and you don't see those extra fields so to limit the number of fields your key is view fields thank you for watching stay tuned and happy coding